Hello relatives, welcome to this schlag night entitled From Horror to Hope, June 8th, 2020. It's been a difficult week in America, a cloud of death, danger, division hangs over us. The news media focuses on what sells, so vandals, looters, provocateurs of every description are hijacking the real agenda here. And that is, we are facing entrenched institutional racism. We all know that all lives matter, but we also all know that black lives in America are lived with more danger. Well, we've surely made progress in the last 60 years. I mean, the Civil Rights Act, even electing a black president. But it's clear that at the basic level, we've not changed our prejudices, our judgments, and our behaviors. This week has been a perfect storm. Disease, death, economic despair, and then added to this the slaughter of Gary Floyd. Had this horror not been videotaped, it would have gone on its unnoticed. Instead, it has galvanized a movement that has actually given me hope. I am watching people standing together, kneeling together, strategizing together, willing to sacrifice their bodies for each other. And I see the beginning of a new age of massive evolutionary change. The young do not see the old boundaries as limiting. They see a linked global community who can learn from each other. They see the abuse of power. They see the endless violence that we commit against each other and the planet, and they're not buying it anymore. I stand with them. And here's a recommendation that every one of us can do to be part of this evolutionary change. In the midst of this pandemic, we're home more. So let's restore the dinner meal to a family ritual. Everybody comes to the table without any devices and talks to each other. Talk about what you believe, talk about your values, what it means to do unto others. And that the difference between right and wrong is not what you can get away with. Do this, and we will make America great again. Take care, relatives. Stay connected to each other lovingly. Surround yourself by those things that remind you that we are connected and that we will sustain each other through those connections. I say this for all my relations me talk we are saying.